At the beginning of the school year, a selected few Nathan Hale 8th graders opened up these bins and it opened new opportunities. We are coding our robots. But before they could code, the students first needed to build the robots. Closing the achievement gap, linkage coordinator Brian Simmons says he wanted to start the robotics program after some students shared with him their dreams for the future. The descriptions they gave of the jobs that um, they were looking to, to do as they get older uh, had to find a way for them to, to achieve that goal. So he contacted Tri-C's Youth Technology Academy, a STEM-focused high school program designed to train students for the technical workforce. YTA is in 14 CMSD high schools, but Nathan Hale is the first K-8. through eight. The 8th graders are doing wonderful. They're really excited. Two days a week during their lunchtime, Lisa Suarez, a YTA instructor, and other members of her team meet with about 10 students in a Nathan Hale science classroom to teach the students the basics of building a robot and coding. And we tell them all the time, you know, the, the robots um, fall apart, you know, things break. And we always tell them, you built it so you can fix it. So that's the main thing. A lot of kids have never built anything like this. So they build the robot, um, they put sensors on, and then learn to program the robot and make the robot move through their coding. First, we, we got to know our math. So we did like math like dealing with integers and fractions. And then we have to use what we use for math inside of coding. But it can be challenging. In October, with part of the robot put together, the students started programming their robots to go in a circle. And there was a lot of trial and error before the robot started spinning. It's really challenging because if you like miss one step, it might mess up your entire program. The students have persevered and enjoyed watching their creations come to life. Simmons adds while learning to code is the main goal, the program is also to improve the students' math scores and attendance. And he says it's to change the overall culture of the school. This pilot program at Nathan Hale, a STEM school, is thanks to the district's Closing the Achievement Gap program, aimed at helping at-risk students thrive academically. The goal of the program uh, was to give the kids an opportunity uh, to do something special. You know, these are uh, eighth graders who are accumulating college credits, which uh, will set them aside from their peers when, they, when it's time to uh, apply for high schools. So giving them an opportunity to do something that, uh, they, that they want to do and exposing them to it and having them learn the, the language and the technologies, and just, just an opportunity for them to grow. In December, the students took their midterms. They had to program the robots by using a remote to get it through a maze. It's easier said than done. Just ask Assam. I was getting irritated because my robot was working good a few days ago on this thing, but then uh, today it wanted to mess up. It was like I couldn't get it right at all. But he and his classmates passed the test. It's not very easy, but one of the main things that we want to teach the kids is even though it's not easy, that's okay. Just don't quit. The students have a lot more to do, like adding an arm to the robot and learning more about coding in the second semester. They are eager to take on the new challenges that may roll their way. I mean, the best part is like expanding my education to something new like this. Like, it's fun. Like, when I code the robot and it succeeds, then I'm happy. But if it don't, I'm still cool with it because I'm doing something other people is not. Oh, I'm very proud of these students, very proud of these students. You know, these students allow themselves to be challenged. Uh, the students allowed themselves to be criticized, and the students took the criticism and applied the criticism so that they can reach their goals. And that's pretty much what you have to do in life.